हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर चैप्टर नंबर फोर द ब्लू लाइट व्हिच इज रिटन बाय वाइकम मोहम्मद बशीर ही वाज ए नॉवेलिस्ट एंड अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी राइटर फ्रॉम केरला ही वाज आल्सो अ फ्रीडम फाइटर एंड हिज स्टाइल ऑफ राइटिंग मेड हिम पॉपुलर विद बोथ लिटरेरी क्रिटिक्स एंड रीडर्स and his work has been translated into different languages all over the world and also he was awarded with the padma shri in 1982 and it's thought to be one of the most successful writers from india now let us begin the story The speaker in the story is a writer who has rented an old house on the outskirts of a small town in Kerala. The house has no electricity and is not well looked after, but the speaker finds it a perfect place to write his next novel. After he moves in the locals warn him that the house is haunted by a ghost named bhargavi the speaker does not take the warning very seriously two and a half months pass and he begins to forget about bhargavi then one day something happens now basically this story is all about the speaker in the story that uh, he was a writer and he just rent an old house on the outskirts outskirts means the outer part of the town or the city in a small town in a kerala and that house has no electricity and is not well looked after it means uh, that uh, in looking wise is also not very much good but the speaker find this is a perfect place to write his next novel and after he moves in the locals or the neighbors that are already living there warn him that this house is haunted or a ghost lived there named bhargavi and the speaker does not uh, take uh, this warning morning as much as seriously and then after two and half months passed and he forget he just begin forget about the bhargavi that the locals born him or something but then suddenly one day something happens and what that happens then it must have been around 10 o'clock i had been writing a story since 9 it was a highly emotional piece i was writing feverishly when i felt the light from the lantern becoming gradually dimmer now the timing is 10 o'clock and i had been writing around a story since 9 and then it was a highly emotional piece it means uh, that I, he was writing a very emotional emotional piece that is a uh, full of strong feelings and i was writing very excitedly with a lots of energy here feverishly means excitedly with a lots of energy when i felt the light from the lantern and suddenly i felt that that the light from the lantern becoming uh, dimmer it means becoming less and less i picked up the lamp and shook it and then i pick up the lantern and just shook it or uh, just shake it then there was no kerosene in it kerosene means an oil that is extracted from the petroleum that uh, because lantern was a la- uh, in the lantern kerosene we uh, we needed kerosene and then uh, he just uh, picked up and just shook it and then the he saw that there was no kerosene in it and uh, but i did not want to stop writing and um, he didn't want to stop writing so all my attention was on the story uh, that was i writing and i continued writing as the light got dimmer and dimmer and until finally it went out altogether and then i'm continuously just writing my whole cons uh, that concentration is on the writing part as the light got dimmer or that the lesser and lesser and the finally it just vanished or just went out altogether and in all the area there is completely dark 
now i needed some kerosene because now the lantern is just off so i needed some kerosene i remembered that i could go to the bank and get some bank means i could go to the shop some shop and get some my friends who work at the bank live in, lived in one portion of the building I could borrow some kerosene from their stuff stove and also my friends who worked at that shop and so and lived in that portion of the building then I could borrow some kerosene from them and uh, from their stove maybe so I picked up the torch and the empty kerosene bottle went downstairs and locked the main door now outside there was a misty moonlight and the sky was overcast misty moonlight and sky was overcast means covered with the gray clouds and that there, there is a gray clouds or the uh, moon is coming uh, coming or going this thing i walked fast when i reached the front of the bank building i called out to my friends soon one of them came down and opened the side gate we then walked along the side of the building and climbed up the stairs then uh, i just reached on the bank building then one of my friend came down and opened the gate and when then we climbed up the stairs the three of them had been playing cards when i told them i needed some kerosene one of them laughed and said couldn't you have asked bhargavi to fetch you some kerosene and then i told them that i needed some kerosene and then one of them suddenly laughed and said that couldn't you have asked from bhargavi to fetch you or to give you some kerosene i too laughed but i didn't say anything and after hearing this i also laughed but i didn't say anything i just ignore it while one of them was pouring out some kerosene from their stuff now one of them from their stuff just uh, transfer the kerosene in my uh, that lantern it started to rain and suddenly it started to rain then i need an umbrella too now with the kerosene i need an umbrella also i said uh, you think we own an umbrella laughed one of them you think that we own an umbrella and uh, one of them laughed by saying uh, in a funny uh, mood stay a while and play cards with us just uh, wait for the minute or just uh, sit here for the uh, some minutes and just play cards with us you can go back when the rain stop and you can go when the rain stops so i sat down to play cards with them but i couldn't concentrate my mind was on the story i was writing but uh, that uh, i'm sit down to play cards with them but my mind is on the story which as i'm writing I was writing by the time it stopped rain it was 1 o'clock now the rain stops and by that time it is 1 o'clock I picked up my torch and the bottle of the kerosene. My friends got ready to go to bed because it's already one o'clock in the night. So I took uh, just pick up my torch and the bottle of kerosene and then good night and thanks. I sat and went down to the stairs and they switched off the lights as I reached the road. And when I just come down and as I reach the road and then they switch off the light and go to bed. There was no one on the road and no light. Now there was no one on the road and no light because misty mount uh, uh, moonlight is there and clouds are just coming and there and grey clouds are there. I walked along the deserted road by the light of my torch and just I walked along with the way of my home and I reached my house, opened the door and went in. I had no reason to think that anything exceptional, and uh, just normally I just opened the door and went in, and I have no reason to think anything or unusual had happened downstairs. But I must tell you one thing: my mind was full of a strange sadness for no reason whatsoever. I wanted to weep, and um, because I am just uh, living upstairs, so I don't think so that I have no any uh, chances to just see in the downstairs that what had happened. and and this thing but uh, that time i just want uh, to weep and i have a, a feeling of full stage sadness and i don't know the reason what it is
then i went upstairs still feeling the deep sadness and then i saw something unusual now he saw something unusual and what he that i'll narrate it as my subconscious as recorded is that the part of my mind that notices and remembers information when you are not actively trying to do so subconscious means that uh, sometimes our um, the part of mind notices some things and some information which we are not accepting as they are actively trying to do so so when i had locked the house and gone for the kerosene the lamp had gone out completely because there was no oil in it now he just concentrate and then he just think about that when i just go or lock the house and gone for the to just take for the kerosene because the, the kerosene just come uh, uh, completely finished that's why i'm going but and the lamp has also gone out completely but and uh, because there was no oil and the room has been dark and then it rained for quite a while and it was more than 3 hours since that 1 o'clock in the night i have left the house but now i could see a light inside my room because the last scene is that and now i when i enter into my room and i could see a light inside the room i could see it through the chinks in the bedroom door that i can see after that a little bit gate open out there from the chinks in the bedroom door as usual i took out my key then i focused the beam from my torch on the padlock and then i just uh, uh, take out my key and focused uh, the uh, hole which is in the that uh, lock uh, from the my torch the lock gleamed like silver should i say the lock smile in the light and the uh, Uh, that lock is uh, just looking like uh, that is a uh, made up of silver and he smiled at me in the light i opened the door and went in then i saw the whole thing and as soon as i opened the door and went in and i saw the whole thing and what he saw my entire body jogged at what was happening and my entire body was like i mean the shock that what what the hell was that what was happening i didn't tremble with fear i just stood there stunned and i didn't that i'm not in the fear i'm just stood there and i'm just lost from my mind i felt a kind of warmth go through me and i started to perspire and i feel like uh, that something uh, he, that so much heat is coming through as uh, coming to, by me and i started to sweat then the entire room was illuminated with the blue light and suddenly the entire room was lit up uh, with the blue light and the light came from the lamp from 2 inches of blue flame and then that light from came from the lamp i stood there in amazement and the whole the scene i'm just stood uh, there and see that what is going on what is uh, there because uh, when i just go back uh, to take the kerosene or oil but uh, now i'm coming back and i'm seeing that uh, there is a light coming from the room and there is a blue light in all the room who had lit the lamp that had no kerosene now the question arises in my mind who had lit the lamp because there is no kerosene where had the blue light come from and from where this blue light came from and this story ends with the suspense so and that is expected from the blue light by welcome mohammed bashir thank you